hello. Welcome to the library. First trip to Home Depot, getting a trim for the bookshelves. There's Dad, helping figure it out. Yay, the start of the bookshelf library construction. Step one, time to assemble the first shelf and we're cutting the platforms in the garage. The regular Billy bookcases and then the extenders on top. So obviously they're raised up so it's gonna be like an eight inch trim. And then this is going to be trim here, trim there, trim there, and another shelf above to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're doing. I need to get to work putting one more together because we're gonna do this wall today. It's a good thing these Ikea bookshelves take about five minutes to put together. Maybe 15 if you're having a really slow day. Okay, we hit a couple snafus in the, the building of the shelves. So night three, we at least have the majority of the shelves assembled. I'll show you guys. Well, I am wearing the same pants as a couple days ago, but it's a bit tricky because of this vent situation. So the end of night three, we're looking like this. Two more shelves made, and then these three walls done. So these two are going here, and two more are going here. I'm removing that door. So this is the easy part, the relatively easy part. The difficult part is what we're going to do next, and that is figuring out how to frame and build the freestanding shelf all the way across the top. But vlogging, day three, that's where we're at. That's how far we've made it. And I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. So end of day four, this is what we've got. <sighs> Only two more to go. And then all the hard work actually begins. <laughs> Cause there's gonna be all these trim pieces. So three, four, five, six. And then these two are built already. Right out here, ready to go. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Bless my parents' souls for helping. Another day working on the bookshelves. At this point, I don't know which day it is. Four, five, something like that. Another Home Depot trip. We're making some progress. It's tricky. So this morning, my dad got the last two shelves up while I was working out because I didn't know he was. And then we got this made today, which it looks simple, right? Like piece of cake, but let me tell you, it's literally not. So that's what's gonna be the base for the top shelf. But this was large sheets, which we had to rip into 11 inches. These two by fours with all these seams. I wonder if you can see that at all. Probably can't. To make that platform, which then I have to go get some more two by fours that are 12 foot long for this wall and then this wall we don't need, we only need 10 foot ones. So I have to go to Home Depot again tomorrow to do that, but that's the base. And then basically we're building our own bookshelves that will go and be inserted up there. So. That's 
that's what we've got so far. So I think we're at day seven and I've made a spur of the moment decision again. Not good, I do this a lot. Let me show you. Okay, so we've gotten all the bases done, everything leveled, all of these brackets and shims put in, it's so much. Um, and then like I showed you the top before, there's just so many braces up there, I'll attach it to the wall to be strong. But what I think I'm gonna do now instead is actually just leave this open, finish it and leave it open to the top so that the room looks large still. This is a 10 foot room, 10 foot ceiling in here. So I don't want it closed in because if we did the additional slide-ins at the top and then the trim to make it look fully built in, you'd lose all that dimension. So we're just gonna obviously trim it out, finish, and I'll still have shelves up there, but it's gonna be open. I think I'm satisfied with that. What do you guys think? This is not part of the original plan. It will be done by the time you see this, but I think that's what we're gonna go with. That's what we've got so far. The end of day seven, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours later. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It's gonna be done. It's gonna be the masterpiece, the library. Okay, Darth Vader with me today. Day eight, is it day eight at this point? I'm not quite certain, but we've gotten a lot done. We got up here, the top board put on all of them. And let me show you. We got the outside frame done. So those are all gonna have nice trim pieces to make it look built in. So I think she's coming along very nicely. And that's what we're at at day eight. Although I am in fact wearing this shirt again, it's a different day. There's so much sawdust in my eyes, I can't see anything. I'm just crying. Um, but we've got a little bit more done. There's been a lot of days skipped in between because I couldn't show you guys every single day because it's been monotonous. It's been the same things. But let me show you what you got done today. But let me show you. Look at this, just makeup everywhere. Okay, so we've now gotten all the side panels done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks pretty fabulous, right? Shaping up to see what they're gonna look like here. And then today we finished that up and then we got one trim piece and then down here, so you can see, you know, tiny little bit of trim. We're gonna get quarter round still, but coming along very nicely. And I've lost count of what day we're at, guys. Day 573, <laughs> all the trim pieces are on the very bottom. So coming along, slowly but surely, it's tedious. Make it progress. This took forever, you guys. It's harder than it looks. Getting there. Okay, guys, I don't know. Are we even having a good time anymore? <laughs> the good news is the lighting is kind of good in this room when it's dark out even, I guess. I don't know. It feels like it's good right now. But you see what's going on behind me. But we did get some done today. Um, we got a whole bunch of the boards ripped, which will be helpful for tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get the rest of the trim pieces put up tomorrow. And then we have to um, set the nails, I forget what it's called, so that we can mud and paint everything. But the end is in sight, friends. Oh, Not much has changed on these walls, but are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this. Oh, she is stunning. How pretty is that gonna look when it's all white? Gorgeous. So I'm very excited. Hard. You know, my dad's a genius for figuring all this out and helping me out with it. I do not know what I would do without his help because he is a mastermind. Well, he's super good at carpentry and mechanics and pretty much everything. And I'm like good at most things, but I suck with a hammer. Um, I mess up a lot with a hammer. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So I am so thankful for his help. My mom's being a dear and helping a ton as well. But how cool is this gonna look, you guys, once this is all white? Oh, it's gonna be stunning. And let me give you a little look through. The reason though that it has been so long since I last updated is because we had to pause this project to get all of my landscaping done before the lawn and irrigation system is installed. So that was about a two week hiatus, plus we were out of town like five weekends in a row. So it's been a couple weeks since I updated this, but I'm so glad to finally be making some progress because as soon as this is done, then we need to start working on the walls for the basement for my gym before I move in, so. Oh, it's a lot, it's a lot. Do you like my t-shirt? I'm not doing anything with these. 
these. I might try do you, to. Do you want to wave? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys really quick because we got all the panels and trim and everything up in the book room. Let's take just a little peek and then we gotta start um, like setting the nails, doing the mudding, caulk and paint, and then they're good to go, baby. Stunning, stunning. Tell me that doesn't look great. Is my dad a genius or what? Is he brilliant? Because look, oh my God, how good is that gonna look when it's all white? Get some nice fairy lights up there. Get this piece of crap light out and put some cute chandelier lighting in. And uh, this wall looks like that. Isn't it beautiful? Ugh, I should drag this out of the way. And this wall, which I think you guys already saw. So hold on, it's gonna be in the way a little. Let's do a little 360 now that I moved the ladder. Beautiful. Okay, I really need to calm down. I don't need to sing to you guys, but it's been a long time coming. I can't wait to show you the finished product. What are we at? Day 565. We've got one coat on all of them. Thanks to my mom. And this shelf has been cocked for the first time. So then we're ready for one more coat of paint. Looking good. Okay, we've all been kind of working on separate projects. So my parents have helped so tremendously much with this. So I'm gonna show you what we've gotten done so far. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in the way, but let me just show you really quick. So tonight while I was unpacking some stuff, my dad got the caulk. Well, my mom got all of the first coat of paint on everything and my dad caulked all of these shelves because he did the ones before. And then my mom got the second coat of paint today on this shelf. So it looks so stunning. I'm just thrilled with the way that it looks. So basically, um, I obviously have to add the shelves into it, but that is the final look. So it'll be nice once all this stuff's out of here. Um, but yeah, we just have to do the second two coats or the second coat on each of these, and then we'll be good to go. It's been a long time coming, but it actually is coming together way quicker than I thought, so I could not be happier. Okay, so we are finally finished. My mom helped me put the shelves in tonight and it's taken just over a month and a half, I would say, to do everything total. But come on in, I'll show you around. And this is the Billy Bookcase IKEA hack for built-in shelving units. How good do they look? So you guys wanted a bookshelf organization video. So I'm just showing you the shelves tonight, empty. And you can look forward to part two where we organize the bookshelves together and you can see the final product. But how amazing does it look? I'm so excited to get that full built-in bookcase look and tons of space. So if you can't tell, they're super tall. I just can't wait to show you guys them with all my books on it. Oh, it's been a long time coming, friend. It's been a lot of tiring nights. My mom, my dad, myself, working on it endlessly. <laughs> and to have a finished product, to have it done is like insane. So it's gonna be quite the process to put all the books on the shelves, I think. It's not gonna be a quick thing because I have no idea how I'm going to organize them. But this here behind me will be the background for filming because I can't have a window in the background, obviously. So this wall of shelves has a window and this wall of shelves has two windows. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me the stack of books emoji or like some kind of tool, a hammer, something for this building of the bookcases project. Thanks for following me on my journey. Hope you guys enjoyed this and comment and let me know if you do. I will try to link the plans plans i say loosely in the description box that we based these plans on but really we just kind of made them um from our brains and my dad's mind and 
made up our own thing, but can't wait to put all the books on them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.